Oh, hey, look at that. It's a camera here. Since we have a camera, might as well do a video. So let's do a video on another <clears throat> budget shotgun that I have. Welcome back to the Common Shooters channel. Before we get started, go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Comment below any, anything you have about this shotgun, if you've used it, if you've not, um, any other questions you might have. So the budget shotgun we're talking about today is the Citadel Boss Hog. And you can tell Boss Hog um, by the hog that's right there on the shotgun. <clears throat> now, again, this is truly a budget shotgun. I think I picked this thing up for around $149, okay? Um, one thing we'll make sure we do, make sure that chamber's clear, okay, there's no shells in there. So, I picked this up um, for about $149. Um, it is a gas-driven shotgun, semi-automatic. It shoots three inch and two and three quarter shells. So it has a three inch chamber. <clears throat> it is a five plus one. But you'll see I've added an extension to I think this is the chotes or the, the coats, I, I can't remember um, the, the manufacturer. I think it's the, the chotes, C-H-O-A-T-E-S. And I think it was Bonelli that fit this. Now this gave me a uh, three additional shells, so it takes it up to an eight plus one. Right now I'm only getting a seven plus one. And we'll talk about this and what I had to do to make this work and some of the issues I've, I've, uh, I've had with it. It is a uh, crossbar safety. The um, 18 and a half inch barrel, just a front bead sight, nothing special at all. Um, it's not even white or fiber optic or anything like that. Now it does have the dovetail, so you can add an optic or um, any attachment that you might want. It does not have any spots for Picatinny down underneath the foregrip for adding lights or anything like that. Uh, I believe it is a 14 inch length of pull. Could be wrong. I'd have to look that up, but I believe that's it's a 14 inch length of pull. Um, it's got a really nice checkered pattern for the grip and the grip is really comfortable um, when you're when you're pulling it in uh, I don't have a problem with that it's got a really nice um, feel there you can add to this if you want any extra shell capacity you can add one of those uh, velcro um, pads on here easily will hold five extra shells on here if you want Another thing about this shotgun that um, is nice is it comes with a set of chokes. I believe it comes with modified, improved, and what's the other one? Can't really remember. But it does come with three chokes. So um, I think I'm, I'm running the improved cylinder right now. That's the one I've been running most of the time and haven't had any problems with it. <clears throat> the buttstock is uh, all polymer. Um, pretty solid, nothing special about it. The butt pad, um, it's got some comb here, so it's kind of soft. It's not the softest in the world. It does mitigate, uh, mitigate um, some of the recoil. Um, the bolt release, I will tell you, it is pretty stiff it's a it's a stiff bolt release but it will go um, the carrier release is underneath here so we'll bring it back um, and uh, we'll put some shells in it in a minute and show you the uh, the capacity and how it goes through here um, the the follower is a nice high-vis follower 
I believe that's the one that came with the the um, extension tube that I put on. So it's great. It's not great. Uh, I definitely need to swap it out because I can feel it kind of um, as it gets gummed up. I can feel it kind of riding in the in the tube. And so you know, switching out to an aluminum or you know something that's a polished um, uh, follower is definitely going to be a, a, a good option for you. All right, so as far as the tube goes, so again, this is a tube that I added on there. I'm not gonna, um, I don't wanna unscrew this and show you that I'm modifying anything, but one thing I had to do to make this work is I had to cut off the threads to make this fit. Um, you know what, as a matter of fact, let's do that. Okay, so here is the, the extension tube. Um, oh, I'm sorry. This is a Carlson's, not a not a not a Choate's or a Coates. It's a Carlson's. So I stand corrected. All right. So here is the threading for this barrel. Now, what I did is I actually ended up getting a, a hacksaw and I cut off the threads <clears throat> to make this work. So took this, I screwed it all the way on, um, marked it, then came back and. Um, cut off the threads now some people have put spacers in there I thought you know what let's just go ahead and cut it off and and just be done I will tell you though that when you cut it off you're gonna have to be very careful and I'm running in that right now so I have to do a little bit of filing here is that your spring if it's not a super taut spring when you're putting your shells in there then that spring could get caught in any gap that's created which then won't let your shells um, uh, feed properly so be aware of that so one thing also with this is when I did put this back together I used the stock spring and it's just not enough power to push the last shell out to feed in and load so um, I went back with the spring that came with the extension tube and the thing you run into here is if you don't cut it enough you can't that's what limits the the third shell and the follower as well see how long that follower is um, it eats up a lot of space in there so once I address the follower issue in the spring then I'll be able to easily get the full 8 plus 1 all right so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together and then we'll put the shells in there and we'll show you how they eject out all right we got the shotgun put back together you don't need to use a clamp to hold this if you don't want to. Um, will it add a little uh, stability because there is a little bit of flex here. So you can add um, a clamp up front, which if you do, will then allow you to run a sling swivel. Uh, now there is no sling swivel in the back, but there is a screw here that you can remove. And if, you, if you're creative enough, then you can go ahead and get um, a rear uh, sling swivel in there as well. So you can get a sling swivel put on this shotgun. Okay. All right So let's go ahead and put some shells in here and show you how this thing loads up now um, Whenever I'm doing this, I always use dummy rounds uh, I don't see any need to see why people use live rounds uh, when they're when they're doing videos and and stuff like that. So just be aware of that Go ahead and use these shells okay so there's one <clears throat> there's two there's three there's four there's five there's six there's seven and you'll see eight will not go in. But again, modifying that spring just a little bit and reducing that follower will allow me to get that eighth shell in there, okay? There we go. So there's your first shell. Go ahead and drop this one in there. So now I am seven plus one, okay? And so, um, let's see there, they're feeding in just fine. 
and there we go. Last bolt, last shell locks open. Now, um, they recommend that you shoot 1300 feet per second shells or higher with this shotgun. And I definitely found that out. Now, I have probably 150 shells through the shotgun. So, um, I did experience that issue. Once I jumped up to 1300 feet per second rounds, I never had a problem with the shells ejecting. Even 1250 feet per second shells had trouble ejecting out of the shotgun. So, uh, 1300 feet per second, not a problem. Uh, buckshot, slug, any of those that are gonna be the higher feet per second rounds, not a problem. So, will it, will it loosen up down the road? Maybe, um, and, and allow me to shoot the, the lesser rounds. I don't know, but we are going to cut into some uh, footage of us shooting the shotgun, and I'll show you the good and the bad with it, so that you can see that um, you know when they say that 1,300 feet per second, then you definitely need 1,300 feet per second. Now. I've had no other issues with this shotgun. No roll pins coming out, none of that coming out. Now, I'm, I will tell you, there's other channels out there like the Firearms Blog, um, and he does the 500 round burn downs. I'm not dogging his channel. He does great videos. I, <clears throat> I watch him all the time. But for the average shooter who Maintains the shotgun the way you're supposed to. After so many rounds, make sure you, you clean it. You know, you're never gonna find yourself in a situation where you're burning 500 rounds of every freaking cocktail that you can think of. So, I would think that with proper maintenance, like anyone should do with their firearms, check the screws. If you have roll pins that are holding them in, check those roll pins, make sure they're seated correctly. Um, if you do that, I have no doubt that this shotgun will easily um, suit your needs. If you want it for a home defense shotgun, the 18 and a half inch barrel is fantastic for that. If you get the extension on there to make it an uh, A plus one, you have plenty of shells to do what you need to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and roll into some footage of us shooting the shotgun. Then we're gonna come back and we'll give you uh, my final thoughts. Right. Uh, and now we're not loading it off. All right, so we're back. As you can see, uh, we definitely had issues with ejecting some of those shells. Um, and then once we jumped up to some higher feet per second shells, uh, it never skipped a beat. Again, once we ad I address the follower issue, then I'll be able to run uh, A plus one in this shotgun, no problem. So for a budget shotgun so far, it is really uh, suiting 
any need that I have for it. And I really got this thing just for, for fun. Uh, I have a, another shotgun that I have for home defense. And I have my AR-15s, I have my pistols, I have plenty of other things for self-defense. But for the price I picked this up for, I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up just to have fun and really see what it was all about. So, um, do I recommend you picking up this shotgun? Absolutely. Do I think it will do what you need it to do? Sure. Again, no one's going to find themselves in a situation where they're burning this shotgun down 500 straight rounds to see if they can make it break. Okay? So, don't be afraid to go out there and pick up this Citadel uh, Boss Hog. It's great for the range. Uh, it can suit your, your home um, self-defense needs. Um, so again, go ahead and pick it up. That's all for now. Make sure you get out to the range, practice, stay safe. GoPro Stop Recording.